Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Just a second, I think I should disable the room and back up again, but I won't just for now. Anyway, what were we doing at the end of the last episode? I was basically looking at doing some Enderium automation. So before we do that, I actually want to have a look at this automation I've set up already. Because I want to make some more f metal formers already. Well, I've done those already. I made the metal formers between episodes. So let's have a look at this. So here I've basically got oh, I've got a diamond pick, a uh, diamond shovel. I wanted a diamond shovel to dig up some um, snow. But I'll show you that in a second as well. Because what I've been making is the overclockers, which I can't see there. I think they're called coolant cells, aren't they? Yeah. And I've now got a recipe for these actually they don't work like that let me just have a look let's do it like this so i can actually craft these 10k coolant cells so if i crafted for example three of these i've got everything i need i think i should have i've already got available three coolant cells that's why we'll start that in fact because it's going to take a few minutes to do that i think Nope, we won't. First of all, we're going to do some cables. So I want some copper cables in here. I've got 33. I think that'll do. I think I might have actually got some in the machine already. So I put some rubber in there so the rubber's got fed into here, which is good. And then I've got 33 cables. I thought I would have had more than that. Uh, maybe it's just because I've done some already. So now we've got some insulated copper cables and we can make a circuit. So let's make this circuit. We need two of those. We're missing three of these. Oh, of course we are. Because I didn't take them out of the chest, did I? I really do need to set this automation up here nicely as well. So we've got 55. Yes, that was right. So we'll have 64 of these in a few seconds. How are we doing on that one? Six to go. In fact, I don't think we've got six because I think I've got two extra pieces of copper here. 64. Let's go and put those into the system here. It was like this, wasn't it? And then two circuits we need to craft. In fact, they come in pairs, so I can just say one, can't I? Start that. And that should go over there, and then that should start up automatically if the recipe has been selected, which it hasn't. We'll get that selected straight away. It doesn't these are fairly expensive if I'm rightly? Yeah, 58 million. That's going to take a few seconds. Anyway, while that's processing, let's go downstairs. Actually, I've got some more rubber with me. I don't know why not to want, really want that. I don't even know why I've got it, in fact, with really. you. Put that in there. So what I've done is I've set up the three metal formers here. So that's a rolling one. That's a cutting one, and this is a forming one. So on the top of these, we just basically put in recipes. So here's a pattern for this is tin plate. And this one's got a pattern for copper wires, and it's got a pattern for... Uh, tin empty cells and this has got no pattern in at the moment and then they just come on the in your port bus here and they just get imported in so I can make a on call set of these but of course these machines haven't got any speed upgrades in so they're going to be very slow that's why I've started to automate this the fuel cell stuff uh, and the other thing I automated was this one which is what was I doing oh that was to fill the fuel cells so basically here I've got a recipe and it for an encoded water cell from one empty cell. So we can actually do some of that in fact. The other thing I found out is this. I usually I had trouble connecting these up, didn't I? Well, because these things generate this one generates EU and this one uses EU. If you look at the recipes in here, it says EU needed. But the cables we use and any cables except for EU so I just used two redstone fl energy flux dogs on here <laughs> and it um, works just a treat let me show you 
so that goes there and it doesn't in fact use the power up but it does make these things let's go upstairs and start the craft on the next thing we need to do I'm hoping by the end of this episode we will start to be able to make yeah that's 30 so the last 64 in there are going to make the 32 that we need for the um, steel hull well that's been a business hasn't it so that's now finished good and that's stable up there so now we can come across here and put in the circuits in here circuit we got two just one will do and I can craft those so that gives me two speed upgrades fantastic so now we can start on the next one so let's say we wanted to this was basically overclockers which we don't have a pattern a recipe for yet Actually, I don't know why for that matter. Well, that must well create one, in fact. Yep, we've got a thing here. We can simply put this is a crafting recipe in here. Let's have a look. Shift R on that one. And then we can shift that in. Ah, of course, I need all the bits and pieces. So let's get these crafting. Let's have three of these. Let's start that. And the other one was circuits. Actually, we should have a circuit. Why does it not got a circuit in here? Because the circuit's been left in here. Okay, we wait for this to to finish itself off, and those will take quite a while to do because they're going to use a lot of power as well. I think, and oh, that's going to be selected. So that craft should be in progress. Let's have a check. Yeah, it's crafting some tin plates now. So let's go downstairs and get these two overclockers down here and get them installed into this machine. This is the one that's doing the rolling, probably the most one, useful one, so let's get it going a little bit faster. We need lots of these. We're going to need about 10 in each machine to be really up to speed. So, oh yeah, so what I wanted to do is show you this bit. I was having a discussion with C. Cindy and she says make snow golems well that's what I've done already but what I thought about doing is adding this like this so I, I've got a vacuum hopper and then the vacuum is attached to these and then it's going down to the auto compressor there so if I just turn my magnet off actually it is off so let's just carry on just cutting away at the snow in here like that and I'll pick up a few, but it doesn't matter too much about that. And I just basically do this until I wear out the shovel. And when I've worn out the shovel, I'll get six stacks and six snow. Plus two snowballs, I think. Well, I did last time, so I presume I'm going to do the same thing this time. And I don't really need to stay here doing that. But what happens is, they get pulled out of there, like that. Oops, wrong one. And they come into here. We can move the others into there that we've got already. And then they're going to come down into this compressor here. And the press is just going to compress these into snow. And they're going to keep coming in because it's quite slow, this transport. But it doesn't matter very much. By the time I finish, I'll have a stack or so of... Well, I'll have six stacks of snow by the time this breaks, as I said. So what we want to do today is to do that Enderian recipe, don't we? Now... The Enderian recipe itself is actually not that easy. Let's have a look. Have I got these fuel cells? So I have good. So now I can put those in there and make the recipe for this overclockers. So we can order another two overclockers when we want to. But I might do that just for fun. Go and put them in in here. Which one should we do? I think the top one's where I'm putting this type of stuff. Yes, it is. I'll put it in here like that. we'll see if we've got enough snow to do the next three. Oh, in fact, I've got some overclockers, haven't I? I know we haven't got those yet. So let's go and get another couple of overclockers. Now we can craft two of these. Let's go cancel that, actually, and see if we can do four. Yep, we can. 
we have enough snow in the system so we've got our two first of all so we'll take those two with us and what else do we need i think it's probably just going to be probably both these two machines will have yeah this will be a bit slow because it's going to be uh, making the cells now like that so i'll speed it up a bit as well so that's something that can, i can, that can do in the background so the next thing is this enderium and i want to use that recipe we've got so what do we need? We basically need one under pearl. Let's get the under pearl out of here. I haven't set up a recipe to make under pearls, or have I? Oh, of course, they go in sixteens. What else do we need? We need some sulphur. We need some carbon. Should take half a stack of that. As it happens sulfur have we got sulfur yes we've got 11 52 sulfur that's good um iron oxide oh, let's craft 32 of those start that they shouldn't take too long to go that's the cpu zero right it's already f almost finished those so they'll be there in a few seconds what else do we need for the um, enderium ingots? It's basically this one here. Let's have a look at this book. So tin, silver, platinum should be no problem. And this is an ender pearl. This is iron oxide. Plutonium blaze rods. Let's get some oops, blaze rods out of here. I think I've got space to do this craft actually. Uh, I need to decompose this one to get the plutonium. I'm not sure of these because this was the first row. Of, no, the first row to put decomposes is here, and I had metals, a few metals cooking in here before. So now we've got that's tin. So we could use this one. We can take the tin out, and we can put into here at the top of this one storage bus oh I haven't got an export bus on that let's, put, let's create an export bus export bus good what's that a storage bus I probably do need those let's go up here that was a good shot for a change and we can put these blaze rods into that ah <laughs> wrong never mind i can well nah, i'll have to go and get another one probably probably some down here anyway so we'll take one from here i meant to put it into the filter didn't i we've got five in here look which machine is it this one yes it is so let's put those into the export bus instead this time so that will then start to get blaze rods in like that in fact there's no reason why I can't speed this up as it happens let's just put one of those into there and then that should fill up nicely good so therefore we have plutonium but I shouldn't do it like this should I because this is going to have hardly reactive I think that's actually I don't know what happens to this actually to be honest with you. Does it decompose into something else? It doesn't say. Normally it would say. It gives you a life a time of how long things actually last. I'm gonna trust it. I'm gonna hope it doesn't de it doesn't um, give its half life on me, that would be bad. So right, that's plutonium. And I think all the other things we have. So let's just go upstairs. And set up all this recipe into the into a pattern here so we've done that one that's great we've got one more pattern left that's good so we needed eight tin didn't we eight tin oops oh, i've needed the crafting or process one don't i eight tin and we needed four silver i think what was the recipe for the endurium brand it's actually probably easier to Take this one off and put onto this one here the enderium ingot. That one. Put 
probably gone the wrong way. Good. So we need silver and platinum. Oops. Silver. That's silicon. Silver's here. I need four of these. Platinum, I think we also need four of, so let's take that. And the pearl will decompose at the time because that is highly reactive and radioactive. Um, what else we need? I think it was one carbon and iron oxide. Where's the iron oxide? So those two are. So one iron oxide. One plutonium, one eight carbon and sixteen sulfur. Okay. One of those eight carbon. Oh it's plus it was plutonium in there, wasn't it? Let's take the plutonium out of here. Oh, that's strange, it's not stacking. It actually goes here, doesn't it? That is weird. Ah, of course it's not stacking because it's de... Yes, okay, I'm going to have to stop that. <laughs> ah, dear, that's not good. But never mind. Let's go and turn that off almost immediately. We wanted we wanted uh, sulfur, don't we? And we need 16 of those. Let's go and do the ender pearl, first of all. Let's just decompose this one. They will come into here, so we have those two. So one of those there, and eight of those there, will give us the processing recipe for... What is that? Oh, of course we haven't got... <laughs> Oops. Let's just, I have to actually do it, don't I? Let's go and get the stuff out of the thing. So we need every all those materials. So we need tin, we've got tin, silver. We haven't got any silver because I've put it all back. I've had a deck of silver. Platinum. We've got this one, we need hey, S. Two. That's a bit strange. No, that was strange. Um, calcium carbonate. What else do we need? Iron oxide. We've got plutonium. We've got one of carbon. We've got and silicon. We've got good. So let's go and then put this into the recipe book, into here like this. We've got the recipe book already set up, haven't we? So let's just do it like this, put that into there, and then we can put all these ingredients into here like this. And we should, they get taken out, and we should have an enderium ingot in here like that, which actually I could have done the other way. And then, We'll put the enderium ingot into here like this, and then we can get the pattern. So that's the processing pattern that needs to go into one of the, the chemical synthesizers. So let's go and do that. And I think I've got one free. And I think the one I've got free is this end one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Let's put this pattern in here. And then let's go back upstairs and get the book out because I left the book upstairs. I'm not going to say anything about that. It was uh, definitely an oversight. So the other thing we'll do is better to automate the plutonium when we need it. So let's take this book out of here like that. 
I wonder if it's something to do with if you've got no more ingredients it takes the recipe away but I don't think that's the case so that's that machine here isn't it yep so now we've got our recipe for enderium ingots let's come down here and turn off the plutonium one remove that we can easily we can easily sort this out actually it's not a big deal I'll just put into the system the um, plutonium and have I got one with me no I haven't let's just take one we can put it into a synthesizer and we can synthesize it back to blaze powders anyway so it's no big deal or we can actually synthesize it to blaze rods that one let's take a stack of that out of there So, in fact, can I do that here? Well, you know, it's not actually that impossible. Because that's a synthesizer. And with a synthesizer, you can take stuff around the back. Let's just do that. I'll turn my magnet on. Actually, it might be a good idea these time of days. Let's take that one out of here like this. Because we've got thick walls in this place. So, let's put down some cables here. And then we can, all we need to do is have a an export bus on this. Yep, we've got seven of those. Like that. And we just need to export that into here some plutonium. So we can put plutonium in there. Hopefully it doesn't care about this decay factor. Put one one card into there so it gets a, goes a bit faster. So then we can take this recipe off. In fact, we should even be getting plutonium in here. Oh yeah. In fact, let's just make the that'll be down here when two blaze rods coming out here. Let's put that into our book here. Slime balls. They're probably already in actually to be honest with you. Let's take the book. And slow oh, I've already guessed I thought I've got blaze powder. I'd be surprised if I didn't have that already in the book take that one off the bottom and why is that not coming out of here can't get it can I yes I can plutonium I wonder if that needs a fuzzy card in there let's go and do that as well make sure it wasn't just that particular item so let's get for a fuzzy card um, while we're actually doing this, let's do the Enderia Mingots and let's see if we can make some of these. We can craft those. Now, which recipes are we going to use? I think I've got two. Let's make 11. Ah, yes, I haven't said how to make these two, have I? Ah, uh, but it says it's missing plutonium. I wonder if that's another thing in this decaying business. Okay, I'm a bit uncertain as to what to do with that, to be honest with you. Well, let's get these, um, let's get a fuzzy card made first of all. That's this one. So that's an advanced card plus that. I'm not sure if I've got any. Nope, I don't have any advanced cards in the system. But they're not too difficult to make. Make a pair of those. We've got the other bits. We just make one fuzzy card now. Ah, wool. Have I got no wool there? String. Nope. I'll go and make some wool. I think if I've got any wool, it's either here. Let's sort that. I've got four here. Look. I'll just make one fuzzy card. Like that. So that does go into the import and export buses, which is what I would expect. And we should be able to put that in here. And let's have a look. Yes, that seems to be working. Good. If 
fact I should make that go even faster it seems to be slow is it slow here yep let's make this go a little bit faster let's put another speed upgrade in here or acceleration card okay good now the other one I was having a problem was with that that actually should make a second one of these then let's make a second fuzzy card I don't know whether it works for the um for the crap for the um what I'm talking about for the ME interface I could check couldn't I let's just go over here so the one I was using is this one here and I want the ME interface on the top of that oh no it's only got crafting only hasn't it I can't put it in there okay so basically I'm a bit stuck on that one probably the best but this is a lot cheaper because it only requires one sulfur instead of having um, six ten I think I prefer this recipe where's it gone to oh that's the metals isn't it but what I can do to sort this out here 27 I thought I wanted to get rid of those Oh, I didn't actually get rid of them from the um, I only got rid of them from the filter didn't I yeah so that's slowly going down it's actually going down very slowly but I don't think it matters very much he says hesitating so what I could do is do, do this a different way instead of having an export bus onto that we could put an ME interface here, couldn't we? That might be better. And we'd do the same thing for the ender for the ender pearls. Now where did I put the ender pearls? Did I put it in nope, that's sulfur. These are the phosphate ones from yeah. I don't even have the phosphate. That's carbon. This one I could use, couldn't I? Yes, that's got no that's got no interface on it either. Alright, so what we'll do with this is we'll take craft have I got two flat ones storage buses okay I craft a flat one like this and then we can put the flat one on here like this and so what we can say so we can take an ender pearl uh, I wonder if it's going to work the reason I'm worried about it is that is the time it takes to decompose but maybe you can change the, the recipe as well so I think we can actually let me just try it anyway so let's go so we basically want if I get rid of oh, I can't do it this way I have to get the other way around so let's get in a, I need some more patterns don't we let's get some patterns made first of all do the short 10 get that going and what I'm going to do is to take an under pull and I think when we come here we can do this one all dictionary substitutions and that clears configuration Dix, uh, allows all dictionary substitutions maybe we want to allow it hmm okay let's try it that's the only thing I can suggest we do for this so let's get an ender pearl out of here actually I'm going to put these away will not I I also need an enemy interfaces as well start that up going so we need our storage bus is good I've got two of these good we'll take those out hmm An ender pearl. So, I think I might have set up a crafting recipe for ender pearls. To be honest with you, yep, you can craft ender pearls. Good. Let's go downstairs and get this thing started. If I remember right, the steel hull is enormously expensive. 
in terms of power and I'm sure that we've got this already set up these have now finished yep so we've got our two that we need for the 32 and while that's going let me just decompose no I'll do it upstairs we've got to decompose upstairs haven't we So well, that's our 32. I'm just going to have to make a row free here. And we'll put everything down here that we've got that we need for this recipe. And we'll put it all into here. And sure enough, one steel hole. With, I don't know how much this is, 100, 1.5 billion RF. Whew. That's going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe next episode it's finished. Right. So I'm going to get concentrate on what I'm doing now because I've been messing around a bit, haven't I? Let's get this end of pearl decomposed here. Collect out the items from here. So we've got that one. And that's okay, good. And then we can come over here and we can create the recipe for an end of pearl from this one. End of pearl. Sorry, I've got still got crafting set up, haven't I? So one ender pearl makes these. Let's go into here. Let's put this into the crafting recipe. One ender pearl will make dynamium and calcium carbonate eight of. So let's go downstairs and put that on the ME interface of this machine. It's one of these, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. So we can put this recipe in here now. And it shows up as Einsteinium, which is good. We can actually put, now we can put everything else back into the system here. And I want to do the same thing for um, plutonium. Put those away. So now we should be able to put that away. And we should also then be able to craft. I think we should be able to craft it. Let's have a look. An enderium ingot again. So it's complaining about these two being missing. That does make sense. Ah, yeah. It's probably to do with this substitution business. It wants a different one. So that makes this recipe very difficult to do. Uh, yeah, because we've got plenty of plutonium in here. And I can't make it fuzzy. Okay, that's a, that's a shame. Never mind. Because um, it's actually got, knows it's got that to do. Okay, let's cancel that and then just do one of those. Yeah. And you can't do it because it's got plutonium and stinium. Things which decay don't work. Okay. Um, and stinium. Oops, I've got one of those. And calcium carbonate. And we can put those into a... I can actually put them in here very quickly, can't I? Because this is actually running quite slowly. I've actually got some few now actually. Let's just take the book out because I don't want to leave this stuff in, with me for the time being. Let's just put that there and that there. Oh, it doesn't work. Probably the wrong place. Don't ask me where it should go. Ender pearl. Oh! Now I don't have an ender pearl in this book. Oops, let's go and get an ender pearl quickly. Well, that's been a bit of a fail, isn't it? I was hoping to do it that way. It's a lot nicer if I can do it that way. I could use fuzzy output cards, couldn't I? And put it into a chest and then feed it in. So let's take the book, let's put the ender pearl in here like this. 
Really? I need to select it, don't I? Yeah. So that's taken those out. We should have an ender pull down in here. Good. Let's take the book out again. Because we're actually filling it with plutonium nicely now. So whereas plutonium is this one, it's all we want. Put the back in. Put back in, remove the Einsteinium. And then we can take out of here as many of these blaze powders as we've got and put those into the system. So let those things go through. It'll, it actually won't be too many of these that we need to get rid of, but uh, that's a bit of a shame. So I've got to do it the other way. Well, I don't like that very much. Never mind. I'll th I shall see if I can think of it doing a better way because it, it is expensive, especially on sulfur. So. Let's see how this, uh, before I go, let's go and quickly have a look at how this is getting along here. Well, oh, it's actually not doing too badly. It's about a third of the way up, a quarter of the way up. And so well, next time it should be ready. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of a fail episode. Anyway, until next time, bye for now.